Hey guys, this is Leah with Scott Lamore Marketing. In today's tip video, I'm going to show you a brand new DocuSign workflow that will allow for any forms marked required in your opportunity checklist to automatically pull into your DocuSign room when you create that. So it's a really great tip to help make that a little more efficient as again, it will automatically pull in your forms for you in your DocuSign room instead of you having to manually go add those individually. Now this will only be available to agents whose market center staff have set this up on the admin side. So I'm going to show you this new workflow on how you can automatically add your forms and it will show you as well if your market center has set this up on their back end. So first thing we need to do is log into command. That will always be the first thing that you'll need to do when starting a transaction. So I'm logging into agent.kw.com. So again, that's agent.kw.com to go ahead and log into command. And there is a very specific workflow that KW wants you to use when you are starting your transactions in command. You will always need to follow these specific steps and I will hyperlink notes as well on the bottom of this YouTube video that will have that written out the exact steps to take as well. So first thing that we need to do when creating a new transaction is add a contact to our database. So if you have not already, go ahead and click on the contacts icon on the left hand side command menu. And you can either search for the contact if you already have that entered into your database, or you can go ahead and click add contact on the top right to add that contact in right away. And so you can go ahead and add the contact's full name here, their email address, their phone number, and any of this information that you add in here will automatically pull into DocuSign to autofill onto all your forms. So the client's contact information does pull from command. And you can click create on the very bottom. All right, so now I'm going to use the search bar on the very top left of my contacts to go ahead and search for that contact that I added in. I'm going to start my opportunity in command by clicking on the opportunities option on the top right white toolbar here. All right, so that will be the second main step to creating a transaction in command. First, we added the contact to our database, and now second, we need to add an opportunity to our pipeline. So we pull up that contact record, go ahead and select opportunities on the top right, and we'll click create opportunity to go ahead and create that right away. Now I'm just going to overview the three main fields that you absolutely need to fill in to create your opportunity. I will hyperlink further classes um, under this YouTube video on how, you know, all the information for all of the fields here if you'd like further details on that. But the three main fields you have to fill out, so starting with the top left here, we have the opportunity type. So make sure you're always paying attention to that if that's a listing by your landlord or tenant. Once creating the opportunity, you cannot change that. So I'll leave that on listing. Okay, the second field you absolutely need to pay attention to is the client field. You'll see that your client is automatically pulling in in this case because I am creating the opportunity from the contact record. However, if there is a co-seller, you can go ahead and add them in. Please note that they would need to be in your contact database to add them here so you cannot add a new contact when creating an opportunity. Also, for any team member agents, please also note that this would need to, your contact would need to be put in the team database specifically in order for your contacts to be created opportunities on the team pipeline. Okay, and for team member agents, I will include a hyperlink below as well for a team overview on opportunities. All right, so the final field we need to go ahead and fill in is the commission rate field on the bottom right here. So that's just talking about your side of the transaction, so not the full 6%, so just the your side, the 3% or whatever you typically charge. That can absolutely be changed at a later time. And we can go ahead and click Create on the bottom. So again, the main three fields that we are paying attention to are Opportunity Type, 
Make sure your client and co-seller or co-buyer are filled in properly and we have to fill in the commission rate. That is a required field and go ahead and click create. So once you have that opportunity created, we'll go ahead and click on the opportunity name on the right hand side here to open that up right away. Now I'll take you on over to the opportunity details section. And to get into DocuSign, we will need to come on over to the Documents tab of the Opportunity. So anytime you're starting a new transaction in Command, it's really important that you always come to the Documents tab to click Start a Transaction from here, and don't do that quite yet. However, doing so will link the Opportunity and the DocuSign room together so that you can pull in signed forms easily. It can exchange details to autofill on all your forms. There's a lot of big benefits here, including this brand new feature that I'm going to show you now. So under the Documents tab of your opportunity, you'll see the option to pick checklist type on the far left. And you'll only see pick checklist type if your Market Center has set up multiple checklists for you. All right, so if there's only one residential checklist, you know, you may already see your checklist right here, and that's perfectly normal. But if you do not, click pick checklist checklist type on the left hand side to go ahead and select that checklist so whatever would apply to your transaction and when you do so you'll see the three different folders if it's listed under contract closed depending on again what your market center staff has set up for you these are all created by your market center staff and that will show you a list here of all the forms that you need to add or to submit to your office staff to be in compliance. Now please note these are not the form names, or I'm sorry, these are not the forms themselves. These are simply the form names on a checklist for you that you'll be adding your signed paperwork to submit to your office for review. Now with this brand new feature I'm talking about, you'll notice that some of the form names now have this TLDS next to it. And that notes that your Market Center staff has set this up so when you click start a transaction and start that in DocuSign, it will automatically pull in any forms marked with this TLDS here. Okay, so once I click start a transaction, we'll see that come to life here in just a moment. We'll see these four forms automatically pull in. Okay, the remaining forms that are added on this list, you can manually add to your DocuSign room. However, these ones will automatically pull in. So let's take a look at that. So on the top right of the Documents tab of your opportunity, let's click Start a Transaction. And depending on if you have DocuSign or .loop linked up to Command, right, I have both, so I'm seeing both, but if you only have DocuSign linked up, you, you will be taken to DocuSign right away when you click Start a Transaction. And it will prompt me to go ahead and log in. To my DocuSign account, it'll prompt you to log into DocuSign the first time of every day uh, for security reasons, and it'll automatically keep you logged in. But then once it pulls up my DocuSign room here, I see in the Documents tab, these four forms were automatically added to my room for me because my office had set that up on their back end. So if you don't have that feature quite yet, your Market Center staff is most likely still working on getting that added in. Um, in the meantime, you can manually add the forms by clicking Add on the top right of your DocuSign room here to click the DocuSign forms from there. All right, and if you don't have access to your DocuSign forms, I will include and highlight a tip video below on how to access your DocuSign forms. So that will guide you through that. And of course, you guys can email support at scottleroymarketing.com anytime, and we can help make sure your forms are linked to DocuSign properly. Okay, but this is a brand new tip. Uh, pulling in these forms automatically will definitely help make your workflow a lot more efficient concerning DocuSign. Uh, so keep an eye out for that feature in your account and let us know if you have any questions at all. Again, that's support at scottleroymarketing.com. All right, guys, hope this helps. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.